for defining IBFS by NWCM technique. Okay, they are given the statement that is use northwest corner method NWCM to find an initial basic feasible solution. In this case, we need to use the NWCM only. Okay, once we get the given matrix, so this this is the given matrix. This is the unit cost transportation matrix they are given. Once we find this one, so for what is the first step? The first step is we need to check that is the summation of supply is equal to summation of demand or not. So that you we need to check. If it is equal, then we need to proceed. Otherwise, we need to make it equal and then proceed. What is the supply here? The total summation of supply is 7918. 7918 is a 36. Sorry, 27 to 34. It is 34. Okay, 7918 is the 34. Okay, what about demand? Demand is 5, it is also 34. So it means that in the given problem, so both are equal. So we can proceed with getting the NWCM. Okay, how to start this problem? So first thing is the northwest corner. The first step is clear now. Summation of supply is equal to summation of demand. The given problem is balanced type of transportation problem. So now we can proceed for the IBFS. Northwest correlation. So we know the directions there. This is west. So east, west, south, north. Northwest mission. So here it will come with the northwest. So it means that left top element is the northwest. In the given matrix, in the given matrix, what is the Northwest corner. Okay, this first one is the northwest corner. So for this northwest corner, we need to check what is the supply. Supply is in this first S1 row. Seven is the supply and five is the demand. So supply is seven and the five is demand. It means that we can allocate only five. We can allocate. So whichever the number is this, that we need to allocate. If you allocate five, then it becomes zero, and the remaining supply will be two. So it means that the example is so I have this two hundred rupees. A one person will come to me and he will ask for 160 rupees. So I can give him all the 160 rupees which he wants. So it means that I am satisfying his demand. And next one, so whatever the remaining with me, that is so I am the supplier, so that you need to write it in this first row. You okay, know, D1 is satisfied. Once if, we, if the D1 is satisfied, then we need to cancel. We need to cancel that. Next, in the remaining matrix, in the remaining matrix, you need to check what is the northwest corner? What is the northwest corner? Okay, again, 30 is the northwest corner. 30 is the northwest corner. So for this 30, what is the supply and demand? Supply is a two, here the demand is six. In this case, I have 240 rupees left with me, but someone want 300 rupees. So then I can't give the 300 rupees to him. So I can give him only 40 rupees. So like that, so this S1 having only two, but the demand is eight. Okay, let it be whatever the demand. So then you need to allocate two here. If you allocate two, then it becomes zero. Then we can cancel this first row and this will be remaining with six. Okay, next in the remaining matrix, what is the northwest corner? This 30 is the northwest, 30 is the northwest corner. For this, what is the supply and demand? Supply and demand are six. This is six. This is six and this is zero, and the remaining will be three here. Likewise, we need to likewise we need to solve the problem. Next one in the again in the okay this is cancelled. Second column is also cancelled. In the remaining matrix again what is which is the northwest corner? So this is the northwest corner. At this place the three is the supply and the demand is seven. So we can go for the three. See if you have. Apply three, then the remaining will be four, and here it will be zero. So we can cancel this also. And there's a only one row is left. Then what is the supply? Supply is eighteen, whereas the demand is also four plus eighteen. So we can allocate four plus of fourteen here. So it means that we are satisfied with all the supplies and demand. Once we finish with the allocation, or else once if we exhausted with their supplies and demand, then we can calculate the transportation cost by writing the, the transportation cost is equal to 19 into 5 from the first cell 
next one 30 into 2 and next one again 30 into 6 plus of 14 into 3 plus of 17 into 4 plus of 20 into 14. This is the way we need to calculate the IBFS by using NWCM.